You'll find three exercises for you to try out your newfound skills in arrays and hashes in Ruby in the file array-hash-exercise.rb found in your working files inside the Chapter 3 Ruby directory. We'll go through the setup for the exercises. And again, the dash exercise.rb file holds just the sort of template of the code. And then there's a corresponding file, array-hash-solution.rb, which we'll look at in a minute. You could pause the recording, try it out, and we'll look at the solution together when you're ready. So first, on line three is an array named A1 with a collection of unordered numbers. And your job is to, on line five, print to the screen the least value, which should be negative seven, and the greatest value, which is 20. You certainly could do this with iteration, but I'd suggest trying to do it without that. And I'd also suggest looking at the array functions listed there in line two at that ruby-doc.org URL. Secondly, for the second exercise, we have an array of hashes that start on line 11. Notice on 11, 12, and 13 on those lines, we have three product hashes, each with a title and a size and a cost, a men's shirt, a women's skirt, a t-shirt. And then in line 14, my products is an array of those three hashes. We print it to the screen on line 15. On line 21, you're to fill out, to flesh out the body of method items with cost greater than, which accepts an array, in this case, my products, Products is the parameter, which on line 26 is called with array my products. And then a minimum cost, that parameter min underscore cost, which in our example, as we call it with value 17, should return an array with only those hashes of products for which the cost is greater than 17. Lastly, the third exercise, you're to set each of the elements of the array, that is nums on line 33, to be twice its current value plus five. So we want nums, instead of being one, two, three, four, five, to be twice each value plus five. So two plus five is seven, two times two is four, plus five is nine, three times two is six, plus five is 11, etc. So we wanna modify that array, so it still has the same number of 10 elements, but each is twice its current value plus five. I'll pause for a minute. When you're ready, come back and we'll look at the solution. Let's take a look at the solution to these three exercises. The first is pretty easy. Notice on line six, because Ruby's an array have both a first and a last method that return respectively the first and last element in the array, if I simply sort the array on line five, a1.sort, and I use the mutating version, the exclamation mark bang version of sort, then the array is in order. Negative seven should be the first element and 20 should be the last element. And if I, on line six, put to the screen, least is a1.first, greatest is a1.last, I get this. Least is negative seven, greatest is 20. For the second exercise, the only thing we've added here between the exercise and the solution are the lines 22, 23, and 24. So as you recall, method items with cost greater than accepts both an array and a value that's the minimum cost. In this case, we're using as an example 17. So we can exploit the find all method to, in this case on line 22, products.findAll. Products is the name of the parameter, the array that's passed to our method. And if we represent each iteration of it with prod, I'm simply comparing prod at cost greater than mid cost. So because I don't have a return statement, that is actually returning on line 22 an array of products for which the cost field, each element being a hash, is greater than the min cost, in our example 17. And if I look here, items costing greater than 17 are, there should only be one, because the cost of the second and third items were 16 and 14 respectively. Shirt comma men's is the only item costing greater than 17, so that's correctly returned by my method. And lastly, the third item asks you to set the elements of the array to be twice whatever they were plus five. Well, the map method conveniently does that for me. Map allows me to do something to each element of an array. And in this case, on line 36, I can both do it and print it to the screen in one line. So if I put to the screen nums.map and I represent each element with the variable n, 
then I can say n times 2 plus 5. And I conveniently get 7, 9, 11, 13, all the way up to 25. Hope you found those helpful. Three exercises just to test out your knowledge in arrays and hashes.